Hi, and welcome to DT Briefy for Thursday, January 29, 2015. I'm Anthony Solano, page designer at the Daily Toreador. Here are today's headlines. Texas Tech Chancellor Robert Duncan announced the annual recipients of the Chancellor's Counselor Distinguished Faculty Awards Wednesday afternoon in the Tech Health Science Center. The award recognizes outstanding teaching and research and are the most prestigious honors granted to faculty at HSC. With 233 pieces in the Texas Tech System's public art collection and more buildings being added on campus, the Tech System Administration continues to keep pub public art a priority in each building's budget. The program was started in 1998 by Debbie Montford, wife of former Ch Chancellor John Montford, and currently a member of the Board of Regents, and mandates each capital improvement project with a budget of more than $2 million, keep 1% of the budget for public art and 1% for landscape. Enhancements, Michael Molina, Vice Chancellor of Facilities, Planning and Construction for the Tech System said. <clears throat> Art comes in countless forms and there are equally as many outlets for its creativity and expression. Jared Foster, a professor of practice in the College of Media and Communication, has spent a large portion of his life pursuing creativity and exploring its various outlets. Foster has been featured in the New York Times, ESPN, Sports Illustrated, and has done nature conservation freelance work. He started doing freelance work in the magazine world as he worked on his master's. While CDs and digital audio files are popular forms of listening to music today, vinyl records have been making a comeback in popularity in, the, in recent years. Roger Landis, a professor of practice in the School of Music, said Edison cylinders were first used to play music on a phonograph and were made from wax. In March of 2010, Texas Tech alumnus and former photography professor Kenneth Pirtle presented a proposal for the creation of eight mosaics in the east side mezzanine of Jones AT&T Stadium. The Tech Public Public Arts Committee saw two other proposals along with Pirtle, but ultimately the Mosaic project was chosen. Pirtle then began the 32,000 hour project to put together the murals that are in the stadium today. For full stories, pick up a copy of the Daily Toreador or visit dailytoreador.com. For DT Briefly, I'm Anthony Solano.